the title is about what does it mean to attend intensively to images in ways that require us to open ourselves up to their impact on us. So what does it mean to open yourself up to the effects of images if you're allowing yourself to understand their impact as going beyond what you actually see? Right? So what happens when you allow an image to affect you through the broader contextual um, and material and sensory um, realm through which they actually come to, we come to encounter them? Um, the larger book takes as its object of engagement um, a genre of images that I think, that I argue, people would say are the most mute images you could ever encounter. Um, images that are seen that, as saying nothing at all, because we only encounter them in relationship to the state, in relationship to science, in relationship to institutionalization. And those images are um, the genre that I call identification photography. So the book uh, looks at uh, passport photos, ID photos, ethnographic photos, mug shots, prison, prison albums. And it looks at the ways that black communities do something with those images that repurposes them, that uh, makes them go against the grain. But if we only look at what we're seeing, what's being captured within those frames, we won't get that. Um, so what I'm calling for is a methodology of engagement that I describe as listening to images. The piece that I'm presenting to you now is the final chapter of that book. Um, and the final chapter of the book um, returns to the starting point that I had in writing it, which was to reckon with what it means for me as a black feminist to, to encounter these images of African diasporic communities um, in a way that requires me to think about my relationship to futurity. And that the temporality of futurity for black communities and black feminists in particular is a really challenging concept. Um, what is the time of futurity for black folks? And as a black feminist, what does that mean to think about a future? What would it look like? Um, and as I want to argue, and I'll, you'll see this in the talk itself, that for me, the relationship between black communities and black feminism and the temporality of futurity has to be thought about through the concept of grammar through how do we conjugate our relationship of being to the future. <laughs> 